What is up, everybody? Today, we're gonna look at, boom, the new Corolla AE86 hatch. Let's go. All right, let's start with <clears throat> what the car is. This is 1985 Toyota Corolla. It has a whopping 260,000 miles on it, running strong. Picked it up from a guy in Louisville, Kentucky. And yeah, let's go into some of the parts that are on it already, and then we'll get to the plans for it. So. As you can kind of see, it does have aftermarket front fenders. It also has aftermarket rear overs. I'm not 100% sure on what they are, but I would guess origin. These wheels actually came off of the coupe that I already have. The wheels that came on this were these. These were 15 inches and it's a four by 100, so it has adapters on it. Um, decided to go ahead and put the wheels that were on my coupe. Taking a look at the inside. Look at that dash. Woo wee. No cracks, super clean. Has a seat that from what I understand was a driver's side seat from a left hand, from a right hand drive car. And then it has this Tenzo racing sport, fancy living, a million dollars and change. Thank you previous owner. It is a manual, five speed. Pretty clean interior, clean door cards, carpets. I have the other door cards, nice plastic. Um, no headliner and none of the back. It has some of the plastic panels back there, but that's it. And this crazy disco looking, let me, let me show you. Boom, trippy. This car was resprayed. Originally it was a lighter, uh, teal or blue and then they painted it some GM black Might keep it black. We'll see now on to the engine This car is a SR5 which comes with a 4AC um, This is an inline four It's uh, slow not a quick car um, 70 horsepower, but it's a pretty peppy 70 horsepower this thing will scoop. Uh, look at that, brand new alternator. Woo wee! Yeah, that's what I talk about luxury. It also has, look at this. Oh, fancy um, oversprayed hardware. That's what I'm talking about. Somebody also gutted the inside of uh, the hood, so it's very, very flimsy. Not a lot of structure left to it. This is gonna be coming out. Okay, on to my carbon fiber headlight covers. Yeah, that's right, we fancy up in here. Fancy. I guess a JDM front end on it. I'll probably keep this and just put a lip on it. That'd look good. Um, that's about it. There's really not a whole lot to, t to say. Uh, it's pretty much stock besides that. Take a look from this side. This marvelous dash. This seat is rough. No names, no brand. Um, it has a kind of cool seat bracket for it and a bunch of cool stickers on the back. But I think I have a plan for the seat also. So, that's the car. Pretty straightforward. It's very clean, little to no rust on it. Um, all the glass is clean and not broken. Initially, I thought about drifting it, but it's a little too clean, a little too nice. I think what we're gonna do is make it into a, uh, a weekend cruiser, fun, nice, clean car. I already bought some parts for it. I actually bought, <laughs> I bought some over fenders for it um, in November, it's January now. I also bought front fenders for it. 
in November. They said it would take, uh, wouldn't be able to get them until early February. So I went ahead and ordered them. And I guess I was just hoping that I would buy a hatch and I did, so that worked out. I also bought some engine mounts. I'm not gonna say what engine yet, just in case I change my mind. Also, I want it to be a surprise, but that engine will be coming out. Leave a comment in below what you think the engine will be. Some people will hate it, some people will like it. I'm, I'm just trying to go for good power, simple, and not too expensive. We'll see how that turns out. I will say, this might give a little bit away, is the rear end. Oh my gosh. This place is haunted. The rear end is gonna be a Ford eight inch. Um, Techno Toy Tuning makes uh, brackets for that. So we're probably gonna do that. So custom drive shaft and then engine. Stay tuned for that. Let's talk about, I guess, the wheels and body. I don't know. I thought about relipping these wheels. These are, uh, you can see here, they're Volks Racing. Um, so they're, they're three piece wheels. I could definitely just get them powder coated, new barrels. Um, but I think I'm gonna go for SSRs or something like that. The body, the over fenders I bought, I think the ones on it right now are plus 25. I'm looking to do plus 45 front and rear. We're going for that wide look. Get some coilovers, some other suspension goodies. I guess just kind of go from there. I really don't have a lot of time. I think this last week I worked over 100 hours and I haven't made a video in a long time. I've actually already had this car for a little while, just haven't been able to post any content. Also with that uh, passenger side seat, I'm thinking about getting it reupholstered so my girlfriend, she can sew. She's never done a seat before, but she says it's probably pretty simple. It seems complicated to me, but I also can't sew. So I think I might bring her the seat and we might make a video on that. So I'm trying to think of cool ideas or designs for the seat since I can pick whatever fabric and tell me what you think in the comments below. Gonna be lots of comments if you guys care at all. Yeah, um. but that's it for now. If you did enjoy this video and are looking forward to the build, please like this video. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel. It does help out a lot. And if you have any questions or um, recommendations on what to do with the new hatch, please let me know, leave it in the comments below and I will see you guys next time. Bye. All right, let's see what you got dog. I don't know if this wheel's on this pit. Just a little baby steamer.